Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Emo Uzedema fled 388 polling polls and judgment review. I strongly feel the pains and anguish of Emo Light, whose polling units we are among the fabricated 388 Supreme Court released on to the award of 213,456 votes to Senator Hope Uzedema on the base of the on the basis that declared him winner of the 2019 Imo governorship election. More so for those who religiously undertook their civic responsibility on March 9, 2019, by going to their polling unit to vote for the governor of their choice. The worrisome outcome of their effort has naturally hatched in their minds in lasting devastating impression, which the apex court is frustratingly set to amend by, a, by accepting to review the January 14 ruling rights considered by many as a misjudgment of justice. I, made, I have made this observation and expressed the concern therefrom because I was involved, not just involved, I played a leading role during the Emo governorship election and my polling unit 0114 Okwale Local Government Council regrettably constituted one of the 80, 388 unfortunate polling units in Ozede Mass Net. It is number 75 of the tablet do demo documents he tendered to the Supreme Court, where he purposely recorded 656 votes and gave only 7 to 7 to Ihedema. Eventually, the figures were, were fagged out and therefore lacked credibility, given that both governorship and House of Assembly election hold the same day were cancelled by Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. At the collation center at the local government headquarters in Omanike, this was widely reported by various media organizations. INEC hands his action on over voting, the number of votes recorded being more than the accredited votes. As such, there was no result from our polling unit. The compelling question is where did the figures emanated from? The cancellation was replicated by INEC in the polling unit across the state, where excessive voting and large scale violence migrated the election. The affected polling units in the state were 388. Yel Zedema is today claiming that is his vote his votes were gotten from. The result is unlawful. Statistics that are over and above INEC creditation database has been looked at and deceitful push by the Supreme Court final endorsement. This is after Ozedema suffered woeful failure at the election tribunal and appeal courts where Ihedema's victory was reaffirmed. INEC drove the scale and verify and very verify reality home, where he tendered former EC 40G to both the tribunal and the APS court to demonstrate that election in the 388 units were cancelled for various reasons, and therefore no result could have emanated from the from those area polling units. With more than 40 polling units result cancelled, the local the local council was hardest hit. This was the key reason why the youth set up the INEC office on fire. The claim on the 388 polling unit and the result fabricated to justify the claim were done in the most unintelligent and elaborate fashion. Where first the minor, the minimal votes allocated to Ihedima compared with the very, with the vast number of votes cancelled and credited to Ozedema. They, they gathered. The gathering recognized on assessed the fact that Okwala 
is Ehedema stronghold, having represented the area with Amabe's local council in fabricating effective manner for 12 years, with several infrastructural development projects in his credit. Besides, is a demo statistic statistical data either has stripped the registered vote or the VPVCs collection collected. Instead, aborted the central school Ezema, which appeal on the document number 66. The Ozedema was recorded 781 votes with only three with only three six six three PV collected and developed. He allowed 600 votes with only 430 PVCs. It is puzzled, confu confusing whether Ozedema 366 units were first PVCs, therefore legal unqualified to participate in the vote. This underscore and large scale literate inheritance in the documents, making the judgment review compelling and not tangible. This negates the evidence of recruiting and proper documentation. Other zones of the state, including Okwanwe and Orolu, for the instance, Ozidema was allocated 290 votes as against 233 PVCs collected. In Amo Ukonwa unit in Oroshe Council, which was appealed to number 15, where Oz Uzum at one whole unit was force 37 collected PVC. APC candidate got for 54 450 votes. <laughs> Guys, can you believe that? All the vote there was for 37, but he got 450 votes. It was also imperative for the APS court to use the judgment review slate for Monday, March 2nd, 2020, to take a to take another look at APC governorship of two candidates in the same governorship election as appealed by the Supreme Court Council. The APS court had on December 20, 2019 ruled that Uche Unonso was the candidate of Action Alliance, was also APC flag bearer in the Imo state election. It was an account on the Afam Dwell nomination, nomina nominations. His candidates were, were invalid by the same court on January 14, 2020. But in another bridge of APS court equal endorsed Ozidema as the candidate of the APC. Did the court recognize two candidates for one political party in the same election? To many, Niger to many Nigerians going strictly by the court's ruling, the disqualification of Unwasu was the consequences Ozidema candidate in the election was in the best to nullify. This profile realize, realization make it variable and certif certified during the, for the courts to look into this matter. Understandably, Nigerians and indeed members of the international community have expressed deep concern over the Igbo state governorship election, given in the contrary and unpredicted manner. This largely endorses Uzedema as the governor. The council is one that the APS court should look into the judgment review to correct the mistakes of the earlier ruling by ensuring that judgment is not only done but seen to have been done. And two, that the new panel be put in place by Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Takoa Mohammed, to, admi to administer the review outside the justice and handle it at first. I urgently call on the Nigerian government and judiciary system to put another judiciary process in place to look into the Imo state review rather than the first set that looked into it. While guys, this is concerning the Imo state uh, government, the review, um, people are calling, the international community is very interested and as such they moved the dates the courts earlier moved the date to another date, which is now for March the 2nd. We are yet to hear which March the 2nd is just around the corner. Um, but this is um, a latest development of all the facts and figures as to how the uh, people voted in um, Imo State. We are waiting for January, March the 2nd to get the proper documentation on 
the review as to what the Supreme Court will look into the matter and review. Remember that APC is strongly looking at taking, um, to having a state in the Southeast so as to infiltrate with their religion and everything. So guys, this is the issues going on in Nigeria. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button and leave me a comment so this news can travel far. Thanks once again. God bless and bye.